Hi guys. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, exploratory testing. So this is the MTM part three video series. So in MTM part one and part two, we discussed about how to create test plan, how to create test suits, test cases. What are the different test settings details? And in MTM part two, we discussed about how to execute a test case and how to file a bug and re-verify and you know close the bug. So in this part three, so we'll discuss about exploratory testing. So we'll see how to create a exploratory test case, how to create a bug out of that and a regression test case. So normally when when the requirement is completed as a tester, we go and you know start testing in an ad hoc manner. And when we do ad hoc testing, and if we come across any issue, we want to file a bug. But most of the times, we'll not be able to file a bug because we don't know what steps. So we don't know what are the steps to reproduce. Or even if you go and file a bug, and if the bug is fixed, we don't know how to you know verify it because we don't know the steps to reproduce but with microsoft test manager we can do ad hoc testing that is exploratory testing where the microsoft test manager tool will capture all the details like the steps to reproduce so as a tester i go and start the testing i go and click on the application i open the url click on the link or a button i enter some value in the text box so all these steps are recorded all these actions are recorded and if and when i come across a issue in the application a bug in the application i can file a bug with the steps to reproduce not only i can file a bug i can create a test case out of this exploratory testing so that tomorrow when the bug is fixed I could go and do a regression testing. So let's see how to do a exploratory testing. Let me open a Microsoft test manager tool here. So this is a, a machine where I have installed team foundation server 2013 visual studio my Microsoft test manager also. So let me open MTM Microsoft test manager. So it is the same procedure to connect to TFS and to a particular team project. So either a developer or a tester will work with a particular team project. So I go and connect to a TFS, then to a team project collection and to a team project to which I have a permission. So let me select this Tailspin Toys team project. Click on connect now. So these are my test plans. So I could go and create a new test plan. So all these things we have discussed in MTM part one video, how to create a test plan. What are the details about the test plan? So let's not uh, no, go into that detail. So I'll just select the existing test plan. So for this plan, I've got so many test suits and each of the test suits have got some test cases. But my main point here is the exploratory testing. So let me go to the exploratory testing. So I'll go to the test tab. Then I'll say do exploratory testing. So here I can go and query and find the product backlog items. So I can go and say get me all the product backlog items of certain types I can filter that is one way okay then I can click on the product backlog item that is the requirement and say do a exploratory testing explore this particular product backlog item or I want to explore at the plan level I can right click let me go to the plan section I can right click and say explore so to explore at the plan level I have to be in the plan tab then to explore at the individual item level, I can go in the plan. If I have all the 
items here itself that is test suits i could right click and say explore this requirement so these are the requirement based test suits okay where i can add the requirements to the plan so once i add the requirements to the plan i i could go and say explore requirement or let's go to the test tab then go to the do exploratory testing then select any of the requirement so first before that let's see that requirement is available here no 22 id is not available let me go to the exploratory testing let me select this and say explore so my exploratory test has started so let me click on start so i have enabled video recording and action recording so let me start the testing i'll click on the ie here then i'm testing a a shopping cart application a dummy shopping cart application that is tailspin toys so let me click on a shortcut here so the site opens i'm just exploring the site now i'll click on model airplanes i'll click on some button here okay i'll click on add to cart i'll click on the down footer there are some links i'll click on abutters oh okay so i got a error here so i want to file a bug here but i don't know the steps what i have done right but i don't have to worry about that the tool has captured all the actions what i have done so what i have to do is simple i want to take a snapshot okay let me take a snapshot here so there is a full screenshot and a rectangular screenshot where i can take the particular area of interest so i have selected then i can create a bug so this will collect all the information so you can see here it has got all the steps that is i clicked on the browser then click on this shortcut button then clicked on the buttons then clicked on the link then clicked on add to cart all those options and observation that is a screenshot is attached okay action log video recording system information and in my plan i have set this particular build definition so all these information are automatically captured in my bug so what i have to do is i can input some more details in the observation i can give some more details here like about us page gives error all the html things are available so i can change the color i can change the font size so all those things i can do so what i'm doing here is i'm creating a bug so let me say about us page error now i can assign it to a particular user here so let me assign it to the logged in user julia now what i can say is either i can save and close or i can say save and create a test case so this will create a test case so this will save the bug work item and create a test case so let me click on this so bug work item is saved and a test case window has opened so i can create a new test case i could say check the about us page working and also the next important part is about the steps so i can change the steps here like if i have done so many steps and maybe the last some four five steps are relevant for this test case or for this bug i could select those steps here i, do, I don't want the entire you know set of actions i can select only certain steps which are relevant to this bug or a test case so that option also is available here so you can say i can select plus when i mouse over i could see the entire picture with a highlighted thing where i have clicked 
it's very cool so let me don't select and you can see the steps here so maybe i have to just give my 10 percent here and create a proper test case i'll say go to ie then browse the app and rest of the things is plain english so which has got all the details so maybe i can say click on so let me see what is this after yes so that was add to cart i can say click add to cart button so let me click on save now save and close so one bug and test case is created so i can continue my exploratory testing so i can just again click on the home page then click on something else then again i can find some other bugs and again i can create a bug work item and a test case work item for regression testing so like, like this i can continue so let me click on end test now okay so each exploratory testing session is captured okay and all the details are available here so for example let's say i forgot to create a test case okay i filed a bug but i forgot to create a test case it's easy here or after doing exploratory testing also i can come back to the result section and from the bug i can go and create a test case even that is possible so i have to just select the bug and then say create a test case i can see existing test case created i can see all the screenshots taken so all the informations are stored when who created this exploratory testing all the information will be captured in tfs let me go back to the plan now okay and you can see here so the new test suit with 22 id that is requirement is available in the plan with the test case that we created check the about us page working and if i go and click with the link to this and with the link to the bug work item and link to the exploratory testing so pretty much everything is done by the tool here so i just go and select a requirement and say explore it and i explore and start creating bugs and a regression test case so what it does it adds the requirement to my plan plus it builds me a regression test suit so that's it guys so what we saw today is how to create a exploratory testing so there are a couple of options one is i could go to the plan and say explore i could go to particular test suit that is requirement based test suit and say explore requirement or go to the test tab and a link do explore testing then select any of the requirement and explore and what happens when i explore i could file a bug if i found any issue in the application then i could create a test case out of that and the tool will automatically add the product backlog item that is requirement to the plan with the test case and a link to the bug so that future regression testing is useful for me so that's it uh, for this video so we'll see a couple of more videos on mtm features and also we'll see the new features available with mtm update 4 that is uh, visual studio 2013 update 4 features thank you for watching this video